Hi all, my name is Shane Sharastani. Thank you for this opportunity. So everybody's heard of stroke, but what most people don't know is a stroke can be subdivided into two subtypes. You have the which have a blood clot that blocks blood flow to the brain, resulting in brain death. Or you can have a hemorrhagic stroke in which you have a rupture of a vessel with bleeding into the brain, and that blood compresses onto the brain, resulting in poor patient outcomes. Now, because we have these two subtypes, we have to first differentiate them before treatment is initiated. And the current paradigm focuses on calling 911, having an ambulance arrive and pick a stroke patient up, bring them to the hospital where you receive something called computed tomography or CT imaging, which produces an image of the type of lesion and then treatment can be initiated. The reason we have to differentiate between ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke subtypes is because the treatment for ischemic stroke is a drug called tissue plasminogen activator or TPA. And the way it pretty much works is it goes through the bloodstream, it finds the clot and it dissolves it. You can imagine in the case of a hemorrhagic stroke where you're actively bleeding, you want that to claw off. You want to stop the bleeding. So if you give them TPA, it's going to go up to the bleed and continue bleeding, which can be potentially disastrous in that type of patient. So, you know, the time to treatment because of all this, because a CT machine is huge and it can't really be transported, can be upwards of two hours. And during that whole time, the brain continues to die. What we wanted to do was to create a portable stroke sensor. And we did that by using the eddy current damping phenomenon. And the way it works is kind of like a metal detector. You can imagine walking across the beach, looking for jewelry with a metal detector, and all of a sudden you find that conductive metal jewelry and it starts beeping. Same idea. Blood is really conductive. It has a lot of iron, ions, charged proteins. And you can imagine in the case of a hemorrhagic stroke, you have too much blood versus ischemic stroke where you aren't having enough blood flow. So we can take a eddy current damping sensor and move it across the head where it continues to measure these different conductivity values. And it can tell us the type of stroke the individual is having based off the conductivity differences. And it can also produce an image in two minutes rather than two hours. And all of this is to reduce the time to treatment, which can hopefully allow for faster interventions with reduced rates of morbidity and mortality in these susceptible patients. Uh, and currently we're working on our human trials with a lot of hope with our first 10 patients. And with the implementation of this technology, we hope to have faster triage, especially in ambulatory uh, care settings and emergency department settings. Uh, with potentially better patient outcomes in the future. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate this opportunity.